My anthem is anything by Selena. Latinx queers, we listen to Selena. She's our reina. Yeah, just anything. Mainly Bidi Bidi Bam Bam, um, but just anything by Selena. I'm Tania Saracho. I'm the creator and showrunner of Vida on Stars. Just that by the very nature of existing, for Vida existing, we have never seen brown queers like this on, on television. We've never seen a masculine of center dyke that is the heart of the show that was a character that we have, Eddie. So just right now I feel very privileged because we get to make the show we want the way we want it. My entire writer's room is Latinx, mostly female, mostly queer. The same thing with, I have all Latina directors, I have all female editors, my, my, uh, cinematographers are Latina and queer, and that matters, especially when you're shooting intimate scenes. We're getting it right because we have skin in the game. So right now, I feel very privileged that I get to express it with my work. I'm Latina, so I'm from a community that is not always embracing of this, you know, including my own family. I'm disowned by my father, but that's okay because I'm, I'm being my true self. Being out has taught me to think I'm worth it to defend, but not be defensive necessarily, because it's, that, that would be exhausting. But it's not always a positive thing, especially being Latina, but it, uh, it, it is a proud thing. Well, right now I'm very myopic. I hope that Vida lives on and that it continues to have um, employed and exposed a lot of brown bodies on the screen and behind the screen and that those careers go on and on and that those artists get to make more queer work um, or just unapologetic work. Right now I'm being, I, I'm feeling very tribal, right? Because my, my tribe right now is what I'm trying to like foment and nurture and protect and I hope those careers like take off like I keep talking about um Seran Swategi, um, a non-binary actor in our show but I hope their career I hope this gives them a huge um impulso how do you say that push yeah because um they don't often have access to to those to those roles I hope this changes that you know what gives me a great sense of pride this year is that there's a really complicated conversations that we get to uh, talk about in our show like I haven't seen. Like, we, we have a moment in our show where two girls are hooking up and she has her row of vibrators out and she puts a condom on it. Just that act, there's no explanation of it. That act is so, I feel like, revolutionary because even with queer people, um, queer men that I've had conversations, they were like, wait, what? A condom, yeah, it was like, they're not together, you know? And just that, it's a huge thing that we have not had the representation, so we don't, haven't had the exposure of like deep, deeply how we live. And that that is, um, the fact that now I get to like diffuse that into the universe, just how we live, it, it's, uh, it's really exciting.